I am always blown away by the detail in your case notes. <laughs> My patients appreciate it. Yeah, well, so do I. I miss you. Mm, I wish you were coming with us. Yeah, so do I. A little too last minute, though. Besides, you and your mom and our baby girl have some female bonding to catch up on. Yeah, shopping. Whatever floats your boat. <laughs> hey, um, Patrick. Yeah. Do you want to take a look at the scans of the spinal fusion Lisa's doing? Why is there a problem? It's just a lot to do two complex surgeries back to back. Maybe she could use your help. Lisa's a good doctor, Robin. I think she'll be okay. Maybe she has something to prove. Well, come on, you did two huge surgeries on New Year's Eve. You were the talk of the hospital for a good reason. Well, you think she's trying to show me up? I think she's competitive. <laughs> well, Lisa's not one to uh, care what her co-workers think of her. She cares what you think. I don't know, maybe she's trying to prove that, you know, she's better than you, which, of course, she couldn't because you're the best. Well, not that I disagree, but I think you're overanalyzing He has done nothing but love and trust me and Nicholas. We are the ones who are betraying him. Didn't you tell me that Lucky was the one who pushed to get remarried? When you want to believe things the way they were. Now, keeping in mind, I'm your brother, and I'm biased, and I'm inclined to defend you. It sounds like Lucky was paying more attention to this idea in his head of the two of you being together than to hearing what you actually wanted. The thing is, I, I do want to get married. I want to marry him because I love him. We had the best time New Year's Eve. We danced and we talked and he played the guitar for me. And I, I, I loved it. I loved every moment of it. I loved being with him. And I thought, this is it. This is it. I'm done with Nicholas. I remember this is who I am. And then when I see Nicholas, everything goes out the window. And the only thing I know for sure is that I don't want to lose Lucky. So tell him the truth. Really? I mean, come on, be honest. If you were in Lucky's shoes and you loved a girl and, and you had stood by her and you forgave her and you took in her kids and, and you found out that she was sleeping with somebody you trusted, how would you feel? Well, I've never been in Lucky's situation, but I've been close. I loved somebody and found out she didn't love me. She fell in love with a friend of mine instead. Why didn't you tell me? Because I didn't see any point in unloading my drama on top of what you're going through. Well, tell me now. What happened? <sighs> All right. Charlotte? Uh-huh. I found out Charlotte fell in love with somebody else. And she sat me down one night and told me so. I mean, what was I supposed to do but wish him well? You know, I mean, yeah, it hurt. And I felt a great sense of loss, but... You know, I know them both, and they were good people. It's not like they planned this. It's just how it happened. Are you still friends with them? I don't see them as much as I used to, now. Are they still together? Well, they're expecting their first child. Oh. Is that why you left Memphis? I left Memphis because I had a chance to take the job our grandfather held for years and move close to Graham and my sis, who I miss. <laughs> I, I, I wasn't running away from the happiness I didn't get. But I gotta tell you, I'm not gonna lie, it made it easier to leave. I'm so sorry. I've been so self-absorbed. Oh. I haven't asked, asked you anything. <laughs> I didn't come here for you to throw me a pity party. Oh. I'm only telling you this now because I just thought maybe my experience could inform yours. The first person you have to live with is yourself, Peanut. And you've got to find a way to do that. A way to find your own self-respect. And go from there. And that is all the advice that I'm giving you today. <laughs> so feel free to disregard every word. Not a chance. Pretty black and white from where I'm standing. Look, you just laid out A to Z, why I shouldn't love Elizabeth, and I and I get all that. But I didn't expect to fall in love with her. It just happened, and once it did, there wasn't anything I could do about it. Oh, you poor soul. Well, you just couldn't help yourself, huh? 
You just had to have her. She's made it very clear to me that you are her one and only choice. This is so surreal. How is this supposed to end, huh? I wish I wish I knew. I, I don't know. I suppose you'll just you'll go on with your plans with Elizabeth and I'll applaud you from the sidelines and hope that someday you'll forgive me. You're not only in love with my fiance, the love of my life, but you lied to me. When would you wish that I would have told you the truth? I mean, when would have been a better time to hear that I'm in love with Elizabeth? And how? Christmas dinner or something? You're messed up, man. Look, I'll let myself believe that this is just some side effect of losing Emily. You know, they say you're not supposed to judge other people's grief, but that does not give you a free pass to abandon your moral compass and walk all over me. Just because you're lost doesn't mean you get to drag the rest of us down with you. You know, I was, I was fresh out of the academy when I caught Franco in the act. And you, my good friend and mentor, told me to write him up on a citation. Told me that the guys in the precinct would think I was a overzealous jerk for making such a big deal about a tagger. That I should focus on the bad guys and, and let the graffiti artists go. And it took me right up until now to realize that you were playing me and covering for Franco. Look, I knew Franco from a long time ago. He helped me out of a jam once. Oh, wow, that must be some jam. You were willing to cover for a murderer? <sighs> right before I got accepted into the academy, I, I was short of cash and I was worried I might not get in. I got stupid. I hit a liquor store. And Franco got busted for it. I knew that if anything like that ended up on my record, there was no way I was going to get into the academy. So I let him take the fall. So I bust Franco for tagging and he what? Blackmails you into covering his tracks? He didn't have to. I, I just figured I owed him. Owed him? Oh, owed him? What? A free pass on a homicide? I didn't know he was the Tribeca murderer. I didn't want to know. Okay, there was no hard evidence. Now do you get why I've been riding you so hard? You lose your objectivity, you end up compromising yourself. I've been waiting for you to show up. I was looking for Franco. Nothing, not a trace. Oh, that's not that's not what I wanted to hear. Franco's got the evidence, you know, that could that proves Michael killed Claudia. You should have taken out the son of a bitch. He, 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 he had Sam and Lulu as hostages. I couldn't take that risk. Well, I understand that, but Lulu and Sam are just the final match. I mean, you, you, you run the defensive with this guy from the beginning. You forced him to, to make it personal. He got under your skin. That's how he beat you, Jason.